Thank you, good sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, that's you, man. That's you, man. North Carolina seems to be skipped over in the conversation when we talk about regional seafood preparations and dishes. And so opening the salt box was also an additional opportunity for me to spend time in that space thinking about it, cooking about it, feeding about it, that sort of thing. The salt box was like a movie script. That's what it was. The, book, the name of the movie was called Salt Box Seafood Joint. You know, I was the director. You know, the fish were the actors. <laughs> I thought about like, okay, what does it mean for me to open up a business and cast a, a broad net on the pond and really draw people into what I'm doing and find out the balance between doing what I, I love doing as a fresh person and also creating a, a brand and a product and a business that people can identify with. My original location, the space was 205 square foot total. Some of the best marketing outside of social media was me being right there in that window where they saw me cook it and serve it to me. And those relationships started to build. Regardless of what environment you're cooking in, what style of food you're doing, if you're doing it with a level of reverence, then I think one should be recognized, regardless of what you're doing high brow, avant-garde, cooking, you know, tasting menus and, you know, that sort of thing. Or if you're in a small little shack on the side of the road, applying the same behavior as one would apply in a hot and a fine dining restaurant with what you do. I think what helps a restaurant sustain is being authentic. Making sure that you are, you know, a steward of your community. Not just somebody coming in with a business, charging people for product and that's it. There, there needs to be a connection.